This is a video for students at Amity International School helping them to log on to the Seesaw program so they can continue their learning online. The first thing the students need to do is go to an internet browser. I'm going to choose Chrome and click on to Google Chrome. Once the browser starts up, I'm going to type in Seesaw S -E -E -S -A -W, Seesaw and I click enter. When I click enter, the word Seesaw will come up on the page here. This is the one that we're looking for right here. We're going to click onto that Seesaw and you'll come to this screen. And you know you're at the right screen if the logo looks a little bit like this and you have login or sign up here. So this is the one that we're going to use. We're going to click, in, click into login and this page will appear for you login. Once we get to this page, we can click I'm a teacher, I'm a student, or I'm a family member. Now you're a student, so you're going to click I'm a student. Okay, you come to this screen. And when you get to this screen, we are going to scan code. Now all of you have been given a code by your teacher on a piece of paper. It should be, um, looks like a black and white code. It's called a QR code and all of your teachers have given you this code and what you need to do is you need to click on scan code and then your camera on your computer will start. You hold your code up to the screen and it'll log you into your class. Now I'm using a, an imaginary class called Year 4 Starfish. I would go down and find my name so today I might be Peter and so I could click on Peter and Peter will log in. Once you've logged in, there will be activities for you to do and there will be items in your inbox. So for example, I might go to my activities first and there is a Scrabble activity that I might do here. I might go to my inbox and in my inbox there's a notification. So I click on my notification and there's a comment from one of the students saying, hello Mr. Nick, this is fun. So you might have activities in your inbox or activities in your activities, something in your inbox and something in your journal. So if we go to the journal, the journal section will have an introduction from your teacher telling you what's happening for the day. And in this one, I have my journal entry right here. As a student, you need to click on the activities, click on the add responses, read the instructions, and then click on the add responses. Once you get into the add responses, you will have the activity that you have to complete for the day. Now this activity here is um, a Scrabble game where you have to build words to get as many points as you can. So I might start with the word cat. This is an easy one, C-A-T. So I've put together three letters that come up with the word cat. And if I add up the numbers, three plus one makes four plus one makes five, I could put a five in this box. Now I could use a pencil and I could draw the number five, or I could use this text box up here. I could move this text box down and I could write the number five with the keyboard if I wanted to do that. Um, there are many different ways that you could do this. Once you've completed all of the different sheets, the whole activity, then you're going to click the tick button in the top right hand corner. I click tick and you've completed that activity and you've sent it to your teacher. Now what you could also do if you really wanted to talk to your teacher is you could click on comment and you could enter a little comment in here. Hello Mr Nick, this is a good activity. You can write to your teacher and you can hit post and if you post that and if it's approved by your teacher then your friends will be able to see your comments as well. Once you've finished all of your activities for the day then you can log off and you're finished. To log off you go up to your name, click on the little cog and then you can go sign out. Click sign out and you're done.